how to move or transfer files from one folder to another using Microsoft Excel. Hello everyone, welcome to Excel 10 tutorial. In this advanced Excel tutorial, I'm going to show you an excellent way that will help you move files from one folder to another. Let's get started. Take a look at this workbook. We have three file names with extension here. Okay. Dashboard support, page slip and website content. Okay. If I minimize this, I have two folder home and office. In the home folder, I have those three files. And in the office folder, I have no files. Okay. Now let's say I want to move page slips from home to office, home folder to office folder okay how can you do that now you will need several things for this first we are going to use vba okay and then you will need the list of file names that you want to move or transfer okay there are several ways and i'm going to list them in the video description and if you check out this tutorial you will learn how to extract file names or how to get file names from a folder suppose our home folder has 20 file names or 300 file names it's impossible to manually write each file name manually and accurately. So you will have to extract the home folder or the source folder file names. Okay. You can check out the tutorial and you will learn how to get the file names like this. Once you have the file names ready that you want to transfer from the home folder or the source folder to the destination folder or the office folder in our case, we'll have to click on the developer tab. If you don't see developer tab on your ribbon, it's nothing to worry about. Just check out this tutorial and you will learn how you can add developer tab to your Excel ribbon. Okay. Once you have added the developer tab, click on visual basic, click insert and then click module. Okay. Now write the code. I have already written the code. If you need the code, please check the link in the video description. Once you have added the code, close the VBE and we are almost ready okay now if you need this feature frequently you save this workbook and you will have to save this workbook in .xlsm format otherwise you will not find the code in your workbook okay let me show you how you can do that click on file click on save select the location and give the file name and click on save as type drop down and select excel macro enabled workbook .xlsm format okay and click on set now we are ready let me show you how it works so this is our excel file this is our home folder where we have these three files and this is our office or destination folder which is right now empty now if i click on macro you will find the macro name which is transfer files okay click on run let's move the paisley file from the home folder here to the destination folder so i have selected the file name i have selected only one file name here okay if i click ok it's asking for the folder from where you want to move your file which is home okay like i have listed here okay if i click ok and then it is asking for the destination folder so our destination folder is office so i'm going to select office if i click ok and it's done you can see our home folder file payslip is missing and it has been moved to the office folder. Here is our payslip documents. Okay. Now let's try it again. Let's move payslip back to office to home. Okay. So from the developer tab, click on macro, click on run and select the file that you want to move. Click OK. Select the source folder from where you want to move the file. Then select the destination folder to where you want to move your file and done you can see from here to here now let's move all three files each with different file extension okay select the range that you want to move i have selected all three files click on macro click on run click ok our source folder is home our destination folder is office and you can see here from home to office okay so this is how you can move files from one folder to another using microsoft excel this is what i wanted to show you thank you thanks for watching see you in the next tutorial if you can support the channel through patreon and don't forget to subscribe thank you thanks for watching